The Gramesian family is a great example of a family that is committed to the tzibur. As their neighbors, I get to see the common visitors. Almost every Shabbos, sometimes during the week, there are people staying at their home. There are torch events, kolal events, all sorts of meetings. Their home is truly open to help the tzibur. And it's a wonderful thing to have them as part of our support system as well at school. It's really inspiring to see a couple that is so integrated and involved in the community and really every aspect of community life they're there. They sit on multiple boards but in reality in any aspect of the community building our efforts that are necessary to grow the community is they're there, they're on the front lines. Um, directly involved whether it be on um, Tom Shabbat or Alice is, is, is really the leading force. Anytime there's a question that comes up in the community we need a leader to step forward and you know they're there, um, ready to step in and, and to take charge. Tom Chai Shabbat is an organization that helps families in need. I help out with the packaging process. I have a group of fantastic high school students from both Barron Academy and TGA who give me a hand. Without them, I wouldn't be able to do it. And for that, I say thank you to them. <laughs> My friendship with uh, John goes back um, I think two or three years now. Um, I feel like I know him pretty well. I, uh, he's the type of person that truly inspires me and truly um, someone I look up to. I learned with him um, on Shabbos uh, with a whole group. It started with me and him as Chabrusas actually and now there's probably about six or seven people come regularly. That's the one bad thing about learning. With John is that uh, when other people over here you're learning with them, um, you lose your chabrusa and you turn into a shear. But it's a beautiful thing for Houston and I, I'm glad to share him. I have a unique uh, opportunity that um, I'm a little bit of an Ashkenaz Sparty guy. I have the privilege of kind of really getting a pulse and seeing the growth within, you know, the, the young Israel community but also the Beit Ramam community. He's taken a few of our members under his wing and, and, and he's done amazing things with them. Um, they respect him, they look up to him, and he's really changing their lives. Um, he's got a group that he learns with every Tuesday night, and you know, in that regard, he's their Rebbe. Um, and they look up to him, they admire him, and, uh, and he's really influencing and, and changing lives in Bedrock. And, uh, and the more involved he gets, I think the, the more positive changes we can see in Bedrock in particular, in building the community and, and making it grow and, and flourish. So we're really fortunate to have him as part of our, our shul, have him on our board, and really part of our community. I have the opportunity to learn with John on a regular basis for Chavrusas, but so often there are community events that get in the way of our learning, so I'm really aware of how much they're doing, both John and Alice. John's a member of a number of boards, Alice is involved in a number of boards, and they both volunteer regularly for organizations that can use their help. So it's a real honor for Yeshiva Torah Met and the entire Jewish Houston community to recognize them and to give them this honor for all they've done for us. The Kodesh Baruch Hu has blessed them all with so many gifts, but at the same time, they don't rest on their laurels. They take those gifts and they give back, and they're constantly uh, giving, whether it's through time, learning, financial assistance, um, just the chizik to have somebody who has so much talent, but yet he's gearing that talent back to the community and specifically to YTE, being on the board with him and um, even before I was on the board with him, talking to him, I knew he was someone I could go to when I wanted to assist the school and grow and, and when we went through a little bit of hard times for a while, that like John was the one I knew cared. He was the kind of person who would stay up at night and worry and give and devote his time and effort and that to me is the epitome of what someone should be honored for. Mazel Tov to John and Alice, it's a really, really a well-deserved honor. I don't think there's a better couple in the community that is more deserving uh, of this honor. Thank you for all that you do for us in our community. Mom and Dad, I know that you're sitting in the crowd today. I think it's important to acknowledge that I think where you know I am today, there's no question. If there's any lessons that I've learned in terms of uh, taking responsibility and getting involved uh, with community work and community effort, uh, it's clearly because of the example that you guys have set. My father has been involved with community work for longer than I've been alive and um, you know many many hours dealing with people and dealing with community issues uh, and my mother uh, 
amount of time she volunteers outside of the house, it's amazing that she seems to be so much involved with the house and we kind of grew up with that atmosphere at all times. So uh, I guess it is something that we, you know, that we grew up with, uh, but now I really appreciate how much of an impact that made uh, on my personal life. Thank you, Ima and Abba, for teaching me everything I know, for showing me by example. I hope to always be a source of nachat for you, always. I love you. When we were asked to be honored, it was, uh, it was, it was, it was a little surprising, but also very humbling. And that, um, you know, uh, the school felt that we would be people to be acknowledged for effort. Um, we accepted, but I think only with the understanding that what we would do is represent a group of people that really in many ways are a lot more involved and have done a lot more than, than we have in getting the school where, where it is today. And so, you know, it's, it's actually a great honor to be part of a group like that, that you can see that there's an execution of a dream and that the miracle actually has come through. So uh, we would like to accept this honoring on behalf of, of everyone. That has, that has really stepped up to get involved with uh, helping this become a great school. Uh, we just want to thank everyone for coming tonight and sharing with us in this amazing occasion. Uh, the community is a small community and we do have a lot, of, uh, a lot of institutional needs, but the fact that we can have such a large turnout and so much interest, both uh, people volunteering and all of the beautiful ads that we wanted to acknowledge and thank everyone for you know, putting, uh, putting an ad in, but also just for the support that, that the community puts into the school. Uh, without all of us being together as a group and taking on this mission of building the school for our community, none of this would ever been able to, uh, have been able to be accomplished. And so we want to thank each and every one of you and all of those that couldn't be present tonight that uh, thank you for really everything that you've done.